Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Alpana Screen Paradise. So friends, uh, it has been raining. Can you see? It's raining, and I am without my any umbrella because I'm my water plants. And uh, today I'm going to show you one of my beautiful orchid, which is blooming. So before proceeding towards my orchid, I'd like to say something. I just want to request you all, please uh, do subscribe to my channel so that I can get motivated to upload more and more videos and also do like and comment uh, your uh, advices and if you want to give any advice regarding my um, video or regarding my gardening regarding my flowers etc do comment and you can also share my uh, videos if you want to with your friends so that they can get also motivated to uh, to plant more trees more flowers more saplings so that our plants our planet can be more green at least this is a baby step I think we should all have little bit greenery in our own homes terraces gardens uh, in balcony and whatever little places we have so friends so this is my beautiful orchid which is native to uh, Assam Northeast India so this is a beautiful orchid in local language it is called patoful pato and uh, can you see it's a very beautiful pretty big sized orchid and it is in bunch there are three blooms and two more buds are there three flowers have bloomed and two more buds are there to bloom so very beautiful pink petals and in the center there are yellowish striations yes there are yellow striations like a like tiger queens then we have the leaf is again pink and sepals petals are also white and pinkish in color so very beautiful fatoful or fatou orchid so later on i'll uh, mention the uh, scientific name of this orchid and uh, as you can see this is a bra uh, small branch i have picked up from a friend of mine who has given me and uh, as a gift and uh, as you can see I have tied her just in a small pine tree so this is my pine tree where I have just tied with a plastic rope there is nothing like moss or something so as you know the orchids are mm, they take moisture from the surrounding environment isn't it these are the roots and from the this roots only they take moisture from the surrounding environments surroundings so they don't require any media like uh, soil or cocoa peat or um, anything they do not require any media actually so you can just simply tie them in a tree branch of tree or it is better they grow in a <clears throat> they grow better in a uh, big tree like mango tree then uh, betel nut tree so in the ground we have lots of orchids which i have tried tied them in betel nut tree as well as mango trees and also they grow good in erica palm so this is the first time i am tying her in a pine tree uh, so not pine tree actually this is xmas tree or christmas tree you can say so here from a distant view i can show you so this is the entire branch so aerial roots are coming as you can see to take the moisture from the surrounding. So 
so definitely they as you can see they do not require any media and all some people uh, use coconut husk if you put them in a um, pot in a fenestrated pot then you can use some medias like coconut husk or coconut bark uh, chunks of bricks so that they can be in uh, they can be placed in good position they do not move okay for the reason we can use some uh, coconut husk or uh, brick pieces otherwise and also to maintain some moisture retention of moisture we can use some moss but overuse of moss is also not recommended so this particularly this one it requires direct sunlight to bloom so that is why I have uh, tied her or you can say I have planted her in terrace so that they can get she can get lots of sun direct sunlight previously I had one in my uh, front yard which uh, didn't bloom because of the place shady place uh, it was not getting proper direct sunlight it was not blooming so because of this region I have just brought it uh, another branch I have brought it up and I uh, I have just placed it like uh, this way so that it, it can get lots of direct sunlight so friends this is it I hope you have liked my video and I have not used any fat any kind of fertilizer in this this is the spring season and this is the time for the orchids to bloom so she is naturally blooming without any much care and when there is lots of uh, mm, uh, there is no rain dry heats are there then only I use uh, I used to water this plants so that's a beautiful view of this orchid in my terrace so friends those are my betel nuts at the distance those are my betel nuts on a distance so friends I hope you have enjoyed and liked my video and uh, do comments do share and do uh, press the bell icon so that you can get immediate notification whenever I upload a new video so it is not uh, daily routine work that every Saturday or Sunday I'll upload a video so whenever I get time I usually upload a video so that is why I used to uh, request you to kindly press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a uh, new video you do not miss it and you can get the notification and definitely you will enjoy my video so friends until next time take care bye bye happy gardening